So welcome to my video on changing a fraction into a decimal and also into a percent. And the first thing I do is go from fraction to decimal because once you have a decimal it becomes really easy to also change it into a percent. So the first thing I'm going to do with this example 7 over 8 is change it into a decimal. And in order to change this fraction into a decimal we need to use long division. So the fraction 7 over 8 is the same thing as 7 divided by 8. So I'm going to use long division and divide 7 by 8 and turn this into a decimal. And what I like to do is I like to add a decimal point with a bunch of trailing zeros at the end. And the reason why I did this is because we need to keep on dividing until we have no remainder or we have a repeating decimal. So let's just get started right away with the long division. The first thing I'm going to do is just place my decimal point and bring it straight up. So now we can start the division. 8 goes into 7 zero times, so we need to move on to the next digit. 8 goes into 70 eight times. 8 times 8 is 64. And if we subtract 70 minus 64, we get 6. Now we need to bring down our next zero. 8 goes into 60 seven times. 7 times 8 is 56. And if we subtract 60 minus 56, we get 4. We still have a remainder, so we need to keep on going. So I'll bring down my next zero. 8 goes into 40 five times. And 5 times 8 is 40. And if we subtract 40 and 40, we get a remainder of 0. And once you get a remainder of 0, you can stop dividing. So now we just divided 7 by 8. So we know that 7 over 8 is equal to 0.875. So now we just changed 7 over 8 into a decimal. And the nice thing about a decimal is how easy it is to go into a percent. To go from a decimal into a percent, the only thing that you need to do is just move the point over two units. So if we move this point over two units, one, two, it would go in between the seven and the five. So after we move the point over two units, the point 875 becomes 87.5. And now we have changed it to a percent. So the fraction seven over eight as a decimal is 0.875 or 87.5%. So here are some more videos with more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you are finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.